Hello everyone, welcome back to more Little Big Planet PSP. Um, in the last episode we actually finished off uh, Alpine Run and are now pretty much done with almost all of the levels of the game. I think there's only two missing, all the worlds I think. Um, so yeah, now we play Stitch Gordon. It's time for your Little Big Planet, uh, Little Big Screen de debut. I'm, I'm great at reading, obviously. I'm amazing, wow. All right, now what is this gonna be? I actually really love this world. I feel like the final three worlds in Little Big Planet PSP are the best of them, and this game just kind of gets better as you play it, which is really nice. I'm the director Ed Wooden. I like your movies, kid. You're an, you're now a stuntman in my new sci-fi blockbuster Little Bug Planet. It's about malfunctioning robot aliens from space. Uh, oh, he likes my moves, okay, now, that's that makes more sense. Come on, let me get that, please. This isn't that hard to get. Come on. Come on now. There we go. And you actually want to try... Oh, never mind, actually, that N is probably the key to getting up there. Here we go. Ah, stop doing stuff like that, please. This W actually shoots you up onto that uh, cloud over there. That's what you want to aim for. But it's kind of difficult to do. There we go. And I love this. This is a, such a clever idea to walk along these uh, letters here. And each of them does something slightly different, except the S that does absolutely nothing which I guess is also something different from the other, so that's fine. Right, let's get up here and get some more cloud stickers and stuff. Oh wow, okay. Wh wow. Alright then. It's something else that I'll have to replay then, I guess. Wow, and I actually already had everything up there, so that was completely unnecessary. Okay. Okay then. Right, looking over here. These trees just... Why why are they so weird? Whatever, and there's a fire hydrant here for some reason. We get some very lovely outfits. Actually, there's one of my favorite ones in there, which is... Uh, sure, let's start all over again. Oh, we already had that. Sure, this one, there we go. Uh, let's... There you go. This antlers and... Maybe these magical glasses here. Wow, those are lovely. I love those. Um, regal hair? Sure. I think, yeah. Good, that works. Um, now here's an absolutely lovely moustache. I don't think we've actually had that one before. Um, black shoes? Sure. And let's get a sword in our hands. And why not this lovely, lovely tuxedo jacket. I always actually use this when I, back when I played this game a lot. There we go, that's that's lovely. This first scene is really high octane. Use the jetpack to dry and stay in the camera shot until the robot alien ship has dropped its payload. Alright. And obviously there's some hidden stuff up here. Now this is actually pretty difficult to do. Especially when you're trying to ace the level. But you just gotta remember that if it, if it gets dangerous, then it's always a better idea to just leave the shot. Because, as, um, yeah, you just don't want to risk it, basically. Obviously, you can see your progress on the UFO over there. The further it goes down, the further you are in completing it. And wow, I actually just died from that bomb. That's very great. Okay, so now we can keep moving. Great work! Now let's get on with making this movie. I'm not paying you, admittedly, but there's no slack in. Scene 1. Evade the robot invaders. Okay. Oh, this is lovely. I don't know, just this idea that you are uh, in a movie and kind of using that as... Uh, as an excuse to, like, put robot aliens in and stuff. I just kind of love that idea. It's great. And why am I... why? 
There we go, that's what you're supposed to do. And there's some hidden stuff down there. But how... Wait, how do we even get that? I think you actually need to wait until that is almost... A oh, okay, never mind. How... how do you even do that? Maybe... Maybe if you do it like now... Wow, that is very close. Alright, I guess it's a better idea to just uh, take the upper route right there. There's some points behind here. Should you want those for some weird reason? This bit is kind of annoying. Because you can't really predict it all that easily. Come on, oh. And for some reason there's this weird creature in the middle there that kind of looks like the Android logo. There we go, nice. This one here. Why, why is this here? There we go. Get some more stuff for our collection. Obviously you can use this to get up here. Why do I keep saying obviously? This is all this is all secret stuff that nobody's ever find found before. You can use this to get on top of the other one. Or maybe not. Never mind, I guess you can't. Or at least not easily. Which is what we want. Because obviously the Obviously, I keep saying that. This thing here is for getting up there, and also there's something in here. There we go. See, you can actually hold on to this. Ugh, come on now. Okay, never mind, I guess I'll get this stuff over here first then, which is kind of the better thing to do anyway. Can you actually jump like this? No, you can't. Okay. Alright. Take me up there, please! Wow. I there we go. Now you wanna you wanna go over to here. There we go, nice. Finally. I like how they didn't even bother bother to hide these weird pistons right here. Which obviously they, they never really do that in the levels they make. Just I guess to show off how it's always made and stuff, which is a good thing to do, because obviously you can learn a lot of stuff from these levels if you want to make them yourself. Um, but I don't know. I'm really not sure what, what, which way they should be going, because obviously it ruins a lot of the atmosphere of these levels when there's always pistons and stuff that is always very visible. Ugh, come on. This part is actually horrible to ace. And generally, this, this level in general is really tough. Oh, wow. I have never had that happen to me before. I did not know you could do that. That's wonderful. I guess if you do that too much, then the level's just gonna be broken for you. Ah, oh, jeez. Alright, one more try on this. Come on, please. There we go. Ooh, okay. Never mind then. Oh, okay. One more rotation then. Jeez. Right there. I. Ugh, I. Ugh. Yeah. Wow, great. Yeah, as I've said, this level isn't really all that easy. And I guess it can also break on you, which is even more annoying. Come on, I just want to... I just want to... Ah, finally, okay, thank you. Thank you, game. Okay, now, finally, alright. Now I only have to make these really precarious jumps over here, and there we go, good. Now just this, there we go. Nice. This scene is set in the lair of the robot aliens. Try and do it in one continuous shot. Don't let go of the floaty stuff, we've got no insurance. That's great. Let's grab onto the floaty stuff. 
and not try to do it in one shot because we need this item over here. Where's the floaty stuff? Oh, wow, there it is, okay. There we go. I guess you almost have to do it in one continuous shot, don't you? Come on. There we go. What did, what did you just say? Now to film the robot alien spaceship ske scenes. Get to the next set pronto. Okay. Well, that was pretty ab abysmal, to be honest. We got some stuff. Great. And wow, we didn't ace it and we didn't actually find everything. That's very... Ugh. 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 But whatever. I like these levels. So it's fine to replay them, but I'll do it uh, another time so that this video doesn't get too boring. And here is actually something dreadful, but we'll take a look at that some other time. Okay, we're missing one item, so that's good to know. Let's keep playing. Flying saucers is this level called. There you go. I remortgaged some of my house to afford this set, so make sure you don't break anything. Remort... mortgage... I, uh, I didn't know how to pronounce all this stuff, why would I? Wow, I kill that and then I die, That's that makes a lot of sense. I've never heard this music used in any community level before either, because it's so weird. I mean, it, it's just kind of weird to have these songs with lyrics in a game. I mean, obviously there's some instances where that's a good thing to do. Uh, but, I don't know, it just doesn't really fit this one. Because it just kind of... Uh, I don't know, I guess not everyone tries to make atmospheric levels really, but I always do. I always try to make something that has an atmosphere and stuff. And music like this only ruins that, really. There's no way to properly use music like that in a level that is supposed to have an atmosphere or something. So I guess that's why I never use songs like that. And why I guess no one else uses them any either. Alright, let's keep going here. This part with this task looks kinda nice. Ah, uh, intruder alert, intruder alert. Okay, that's what you said. I only wanted to know that and I died because of it. Was it worth it? I don't really think so. Ugh. Die. There we go. This part is another one of those rotating wheels part. And of course I mess it up. Right, what's up here? This is actually all you need to do. You only need to get up here. But obviously we're gonna go back down and try to get all the items that are down there and die in the process, as always. There we go. We got that really annoying enemy. Come on, let me... Oh jeez, that was my chance. There we go. And... Yep, I think we have everything right here. And we die. Okay. I'm really not doing too well today. Right, let's get into this weird thing. This is actually one of my favorite parts of the level. Because this is really interesting. We can actually rotate this around. And uh, that's not quite enough. There we go. And we can get up here. Wow, okay, we can't get... Okay, I guess that'll work. Hey, let me get up there, please. There we go. What are you gonna say? Nothing. Okay. Weird. And we press this button right here. And he's like, access denied, Dave. Emergency door lock activated, Dave. Confirmation required, Dave. Okay. I'm so amazing at reading. Now head downstairs and roll the keys into position to override the security lock. Move it. Now that's... This is one of the most accurate portrayals of hacking in any game ever. Because obviously you have physical keys on a weird wheel that you rotate. But whatever. Hacking in games is always like this. Oh, let's get in there, there we go. 
Alert! Vortex system active, Dave. Touching the vortex symbols will reset the position of the key, Dave. Oh no! Well, yeah, obviously you wanna avoid these weird vortex thingies. Let's... come on, thank you. There you go, get down there. Now you wanna turn the whole thing around. Maybe a little bit like this, there you go. Ugh, no, 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 don't, 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 don't. Okay, thank you. This is kind of hard to do. Obviously nothing really happens if you if you touch those uh, vortex things. It, on, it only resets the key. That doesn't do anything bad to you. Ugh, oh, jeez, okay. It's just really annoying if you die like that. Just because this part just takes too long. To come on. Okay, now I can do it. I know I can. Never mind then. This part, jeez, come on now. Get down there. There we go, thank you. I guess it's a good idea to just wait for a bit sometimes. It's also because these controls are just kind of clunky. But you really you really can't uh, do it anything any any other way in Little Big Planet games, but oh ugh. And it's really interesting that they actually did try to make something like this. And wow, I managed it there. That's good. And I fell down, of course. This material that you can see in the back here, I actually really like this one. Because it's just pitch black, pretty much. Security override confirmed, Dave. Security door unlocked, Dave. Please, please proceed, Dave. This material in the background, you almost can't see that there's actually a pattern on it. So that's why it's really you can really use it for a lot of stuff. Which is very nice. Right, there we go. We can now go through this door, finally. That took long enough. Obviously you wanna prioritize these items that are here. There we go. Got everything in one try. Okay, kid, this is the money shot. Now press the button to release the bombs, then throw them to destroy the robot alien bug brain. Okay. Okay, I will do that. This part is horrible. It's horrible. I hate this. This is kind of the boss of this area, I guess. And it's really... Ugh, it's it's hard, why? Come on, it's it's so unpredictable what he's gonna do. There we go, get up here. And throw these down there. Actually, I guess it's not that hard, never mind. For s and obviously there's a siren in the background now, which is amazing. I wonder if you can hear that. I hope you can't. That would be really annoying. Shush, siren. Shush. Thank you. Get a little bit quieter, and there you go. You just don't want to hu hurry up in this. You just want to take your time, really. That's the most important thing. Oh, wow. Well done. Okay. Well, I guess we hadn't aced it until then, anyway, so. You're done good, kid, and I'm promoting you from stuntman to lead actor for my next flick. Great. Uh, okay, I guess we do want to use this to get up here and get some more items. Because that's what we do in this game. These really weird bouncy things. There we go. Now, how do we get up to that star? That's gonna be quite annoying. Actually, never mind. I guess it's quite easy. Wow. Too bad they made that wall so high that you can't actually get out of bounds in this level. There is actually one level that I know of that you can go out of bounds, which is fun. But we haven't seen that level yet. We've collected everything, that's very nice. But we haven't aced it. But uh, I think I'll do that next episode. This has really been this has really taken quite a while today. We've only gotten uh, two levels done. But oh well, I guess they were really fun levels. The Soul Knight Entity. Your mission should you choose to blah blah blah. We'll do this next video, obviously. Why am I even reading that? So yeah, next time we'll keep oops. Wow. Okay, no mind then. Um next time we'll keep playing, obviously. Bye. <laughs>